What's up guys welcome back to part 27 tutorial of make your android application. Now guys I just left a small portion to show you in the previous video. So let me show you what I left. Now here I have completed the codes of toughquestion.java right. I hope you guys also have completed what I have given you. I have given you this practice session. Please complete the code on your own. It's almost similar to what we did in the simple question only two variables have changed. Instead of simple question I have written tough question and instead of simple answers I have written the tough answers right. Similarly here difficult question and difficult answer and rest of the coding remains same. Now guys let's save our application and run it. Now let's click our tough question. Now inside the tough question I am having 28 questions. All these questions I got from the Google. Please Google it and try to categorize all such questions in your application. Now if you press A then it display the answer. If you remember guys in this view this portion I have put a scroll view right. So the scroll view gets only activated when your text increases the length of the screen. Now this answer starts from here and ends here so we don't so the scroll view is not visible. Now move to next question. Hit A. Now guys here you can see our answer is exceeding the screen size. Now how the user will see the answer which is getting hidden here. Now for that our scroll view will get activated just scroll it up. Now here you can see how we are able to scroll it up and down right. There is a scroll bar in the right hand side of the emulator as you can watch it here. It is moving up and down. So in this way our scroll view gets activated and display the whole answer to the user. Everything till now is working fine. Now guys from the next video itself I am going to design the custom title bar and till now Throughout our development of our application Android interview we have learned many stuffs how to design your layout for multiple screen size and how to make it compatible for tablets and various versions and API of Android starting from 2.2 to the latest Android version. Now we have also learned various attributes of relative layout and linear layout in detail and also scroll view in Android. Also we saw how to style and add graphics with a perfect dimensions in your application. So first to seven we have completed all these portions. Now next comes eight and nine the action bar with widgets on it and text to speech conversion. Now at the end we will see text to speech conversion which will make your Android application speak right and at the top we also learned how to store and decode the string array inside the strings.xml and import it into our java code. So in this video I just wanted to show you how a scroll view is working in our application. So from the next video onward I will continue my discussion on action bar with widgets on it. So till then guys stay tuned and meanwhile if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel and do share my video guys. This is Shrakes from Smartherd signing off and thanks for watching. Have a good day. Thank you.